As for the next 30 years, UNMC hopes to reach even more patients and reduce the side effects of treatment. For the Omaha News, I'm Marie Hanusek. Emily and other patients are waiting for bags like these to be filled with life-saving blood. The mayoral candidates agree there is a problem, calling it unacceptable and concerning. What they don't agree on is just how to address it. Not everyone is excited for spring to get here. You wake up kind of a mess in the mornings, um, your eyes burn, can't breathe. Seasonal allergy sufferers know that the budding trees and blooming plants will soon cause them significant discomfort. But there are things you can do to stay one step ahead of the symptoms. You better be on your allergy medications uh, because the tree pollen is here. And so the allergy medications, whether they're the simple over-the-counter sinus rinses, and if you've seen a doctor before and you have your prescription allergy medications, it's time to start taking them. Although treatments including medications are very popular, some people prefer to self-diagnose their sniffles and sneezes. You can, do, you can try the Benadryls and stuff like that, but then they just make you extremely tired. Could not treating your seasonal allergies actually make them worse? When you're missing school, missing work, you're not sleeping well at night, you're fatigued, you're constantly sick, you're requiring uh, maybe even antibiotics because you, you wait so long you're getting infected, and when it really starts affecting your health or you're spending a lot of money on medications, you should probably figure out what you're allergic to and then get the right treatment for it. Enjoying a beautiful day like this will be a lot easier if you keep track of pollen counts which are easily accessible online. For the Omaha News, I'm Marie Hanusek. You have to want to be healthy. I guess that's, that's what I do. I want to be healthy so it's easier when I want to do something. For Nate Muth, health is not a resolution but a way of life. He encourages those who are struggling with weight loss to get organized. I would set some realistic goals, first of all, because you, you have to know what you want to work towards. If you've fallen off the bandwagon, this is the perfect time to recommit to your goals. Experts say consistency is the best method. Jake Thacker says that as he began his weight loss journey, he noticed many exciting results fitting clothes better, getting to buy smaller clothes, but it also just makes it easier to wake up in the morning, gives you more energy throughout the day by eating and exercising. While his method of weight loss is nothing extraordinary, his success has been nothing short of amazing. His suggestion? Using a weight loss method that has been trusted for decades. But I have tried those more like fad diets where you, you know, like the cleanses and the South Beach and Atkins. I mean, I've run the gamut of those and nothing seems to work like just the old fashioned exercise and eating right way. It's astounding. There were audible gasps when I told them that she was arrested for voting. A reminder of the past. Achievements that women have made throughout the last hundred years. And a lot of it happened right here. We as Westerners really did a lot out here, you know, for this movement, uh, for this social reform movement. One of the newest exhibits at the Durham Western Heritage Museum features one of the most important milestones in women's history suffrage. This is what Susan B. Anthony did for more than 60 years. She saw some things going on in the world that were that didn't seem right to her, that didn't seem just, and so she just put her heart and soul into making things better. What many people don't realize is that some of the most influential women in the suffrage movement were from right here in Nebraska. Historians really consider that one of the most important suffrage newspapers uh, during the movement's life uh, was the Women's Tribune. That was Clara Colby from Beatrice, Nebraska. The exhibit is a chance to understand just how far we've come. When you look at those women, you can it, it inspires you. I'm sorry, your vote doesn't count. The exhibit is intended to celebrate women of the past and empower women for the future. For the Omaha News, I'm Marie Hanusek.